All right, so what do you think about when you hear the word marriage? Maybe an elaborate ceremony, saying vows in front of your friends and your family, exchanging rings to seal the deal. Well, it was once a dream for many couples, but these days that mindset, it actually seems to be shifting a bit. Yeah, a survey from the Thriving Center of Psychology found that 40% of Gen Z and millennials believe marriage is an outdated tradition. Now, this doesn't mean marriage is dead, but how do you know if it's right for you and your partner? Allison Reskin joins us now. She's the author of a new book. It's called, I Do, I Think, Conversations About Modern Marriage. Allison, great to have you here. Thank you for being here. So with I Do, you drew on all kinds of research, right? You interviewed experts, you had stories of real life couples. What did you learn? What surprised you? I think what surprised me is that even though we don't need marriage anymore, the pull for it mm. is still there. Like even younger generations who are like, yeah, I, I, I don't need that. They're like, but maybe I still want it. And so it's really interesting to sort of like dive into why that is true. And I think there's just so much symbolism attached to this. And it's also, it's also so prioritized in our society, right? You get rewarded for being married. That's true. And one of those symbols is actually status. I mean, you talk about how marriage evolved from being this sort of necessary tradition mm -hmm. to something that is now sort of a status symbol. What did you mean by that? It's kind of become classes to be able to get married. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, you know, I think a lot of people think, oh, I'm not marriageable because I'm not financially secure or I can't afford a huge wedding and therefore mm -hmm. no one would want to marry me or it's not safe for someone to marry me. When in reality, I actually think, you know, you don't need the big white wedding, right. but pooling resources, having a life partner, having someone who can support you can actually kind of get you to those financial goals. And so we're kind of going around it a bit backwards. Mm. And so I'm sort of, I don't think everyone should get married. I don't think it's necessary, but for people who want it, but feel they aren't like ready, yeah. I'd say, sure, go for it. Our yeah. parents got married with nothing, you know, and they made totally. it work or that didn't. That is so true. Boomers yeah. had a very high divorce rate. <laughs> well, it does sound like what you're saying is we need to reframe the way we look at marriage. Maybe not as a status symbol. Maybe you don't need all the Instagram things, but I always say life is better with a partner. I mean, it's a team sport. So what do you think it is that this Gen Z, the millennials need to look at marriage as? See, I don't think they have to look at it as anything. I think that it's totally possible to have all of the benefits of a life partnership without that added piece. Mm -hmm. But for some of us, myself included, that piece matters, mm -hmm. you know, whether that's for cultural reasons, religious reasons, emotional reasons, like for me and my anxious mind, I couldn't feel truly safe and really feel like someone was family to me mm -hmm. without being married. Mm -hmm. That's not true for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. So. My book really asks you to figure out which camp you fall into, right? Like, are you feeling pressure to get married because that's what society says? Mm -hmm. Or is there something about marriage and what it symbolizes to you as an individual that makes it worth it, even though you don't need to do it? You know, it's, it's funny, Vicki, when I think about you saying uh, life is enjoyed with a partner, I, I personally agree, but I think a lot, you know, about this expert we had on our show, and she actually loved her life without a partner. Mm -hmm. And she said, yeah, I remember people her. who ha have partners, you're looking for the one. She goes, but I have the ones. And I thought yeah. that was such a beautiful yeah. sentiment. How can we start this conversation with maybe our partners, with maybe someone we're interested in, about whether or not marriage is an element we need in this relationship? How do we go about that? I think we can start by saying, what would change? Like, what would change between us if we go from maybe even just cohabitating to being married? And if the answer is nothing, then you probably don't need it. Um, but if the answer is, actually, I, I would feel closer to you. I would feel mm. like I could trust you more. I would feel more like you were my family. Yeah then go for it. Like you said, that safety that you would feel. Mm -hmm. I love this conversation. Yeah, me too. I love that it is based in data and research. <laughs> Allison, you have done an incredible job. Congratulations to you. Allison Raskin, thank you for bringing this work to us. We really appreciate this conversation. Thank you so much. Coming up, a new document.